Mike here with O2 Defense. Just want to go over the new 7000 series or 7TS holster plugs. So we've had the 6000 series multi-muzzle plug out for quite a while, which enables you to change out the little Delrin plug and run different barrel lengths in your 6000 series holsters. And I've had quite a few customers ask for something for the 7TS or 7000 series holsters. So we've got a couple different solutions for you guys. First one is just a simple flat plug. This from the factory came with this little teeny plug right here. And I want to be able to run a SIM barrel, laser training barrel, and a Glock 44 in this Glock 19 holster. So there's the 7TS flat plug. Simple drop-in replacement for that. And then for the larger holsters, so here I've got a Glock well, 34. 17 and 19 holster depending on which plug comes in from the factory so you'd have the glock 34 uh i don't have a glock 17 one here actually and then this would be the glock 19 plug so what i've done is offer a replacement for each one of those individually and then the ability to change them out so it's a aluminum part threaded to replace the base of the factory plug and then you've got various options for threaded plastic parts that will screw into the inside and give you that ability to run different guns in the same holster. Okay, so here I've got a Glock 17 holster. You can see my medium sized plug in there. And nice snug retention. Say I wanna change this out to a Glock 19. I'm going to take my screwdriver, get it inside there, find the slot, and unscrew that one, take the longer one, screw that in until it gets flush. fits in there nice and snug another option would be if you have a in-between size barrel for instance this is a Glock 19 with a threaded barrel that sticks out a little farther um, so it's a little bit longer than a Glock 17 even that would be up to the end user to modify so since it's longer than the 17, you would have to take a hacksaw to this and chop it down according to what you need. Obviously, if you can leave the slot, then that saves you a little bit of work as far as trying to make a new slot. So you've got some length to work with there to modify uh, as you need for your setup. So Glock 34 users, there's a Glock 34 barrel in my 17 here. You would run nothing but the foam around the hole and then you would use the set screw to keep any dirt from debris from going straight up into your muzzle and that way you've got no metal on metal contact and just the barrel will come down and hit on this uh, high temp foam and that would be how you would run your 34. The other option of course would be if you were wanting a 34 and you had a training barrel for etc would be to utilize just the 7TS flat plug. This is specifically if you want the ability to change guns out and have a plug uh, that rests on them. So, so let's say I've got a Glock 19 and then I have an additional Glock 19 with a threaded barrel. There's one more option that you guys could use, which is install the adjustable plug the other direction and use a set screw, which we can give you. and you'll basically install it until the point of it snugs up against the gun. Obviously you wanna leave some slop because if you get too tight, well then your gun doesn't lock in actively. So be a responsible adult, make sure that you're not trying to get it so snug that you defeat the whole point of the tension. And then 
you can measure the distance between there, and then you would cut that much off of the screw. We'll supply you with a nut and the screw, and then just pinch that in a vise or train a box or something, dig a hacksaw, a dremel tool to it, cut that off so you get it nice and straight. And then you're gonna insert that screw into your holster, and obviously after you've tested it with your guns or your application, then I would put a little bit of Loctite right there, blue Loctite, of course, and screw that back into place. And I've got my Glock 19, and then I've got my other Glock 19 with a threaded barrel. So running the two separate guns in the same holster without any significant changeover or time on spent on the range that you would have to waste. Um, so that is just definitely another option in addition to the adjustable plug that would let you have more of a permanent solution from changing out between, you know, your 34 holster, your bought off Greg's Quest and making it into a 19, etc. So here to demonstrate how to take apart a 7TS holster, I've removed the mounting system from it, I've removed the lever itself using the 1 8 inch uh, hex key that comes with all Spartan holsters and then you'll need a Phillips screwdriver. Some of these will have multiple screws on them um, like the RDS will obviously have two and some of these actually will have a little teeny set screw right there as well. So after you do that you're going to Push down on there, take a small flathead screwdriver, shove it in there, and push down on that piece. So basically, reversing the process of how they put these things together since this is all injection molded, and pop that part, and now I can change out the factory plug. Um, so you'll notice some of these is kind of encapsulated, if you will. Um, so you can run either the flat plug or the adjust plug in there and you'll just have a slightly different look on the bottom depending on the version of the holster. But once you put your plug back in there or the plug of choice, you're just going to line everything back up. Push it together. I just make sure that that's not, you know, bent in or anything. Um, so there's no resistance on there. Put your screw back in and put your ALS lever back in place. Mounting system back on. And you're good to go. Uh, you wouldn't necessarily have to remove the lever. It does put a little bit of torque on one little teeny part of the holster in there, so it's easy to do, So, but it is kind of an optional thing. I've done it both ways with no problems. Just don't be spreading the holster wide open um, if you don't remove that. So that's the simple version install for non-RDS. Now the RDS holsters. Um, I would again say it's easiest to remove the mounting system just to kind of clear up some workspace there and remove the screws. And then it's essentially the same process as far as getting a screwdriver underneath here. The only caveat to that is you have the internal mechanism that if you pop it off or open too much, this part right here, you'll actually separate this from this little spring portion. So I'll demonstrate how not to do that. Um, and of course, you can always, you know, take this off as well and take out the whole RDS lever in its entirety. I'm going to demonstrate doing it what I think is a little bit simpler, uh, but keep that in mind that there is multiple ways to do most things. So, I'm going to rest the screwdriver against myself there and 
just popped it open and I still have the spring uh, kept inside that slot so the lever still has tension on it once I put it back together. So, then I'm going to hold the top together, spread the bottom, and let's say remove that, making this into a Glock 17 holster. Um, so I use the lip here against the part of the holster right here that um, would give it a little bit more support. Obviously this is reversible as you can kind of tell. So you could run it a couple different ways. Um, but I like to just give it the more support in the downward motion there as the barrel was pressing in on it. And push everything back together. And everything set. So just keep that in mind. If you do that the first time, you pop your entire holster halfway open. Um, that this is not going to be in place and then you're going to have to take this off and get everything back together correctly there. That is the quick overview of how to do all that and if you guys got any questions feel free to shoot us an email or wonder what uh, specific plug you would need for whatever you're trying to accomplish. Uh, so try to send us a pic of the inside of your holster so we can see what you've got or you know take it out and Send us a pic of just the plug itself, and we'll do our best to answer any questions you have.